This is gonna be a really fun navigation, it really is. And then, and yeah, this music is really good as well. This is probably my favorite song in this, um, in this part of Great Bay. Um, I can't remember the order in which I'm supposed to go in. I think it has to involve getting these broken up first. I could be wrong, but let's just see where it takes me. I'll go ahead and pull that up. Um. Hmm. Oh yeah, I can get this chest, which has 20 rupees. All right, that's really decent. And oh uh, yeah, while I'm part of the uh, Pirate's Fortress, I have to be keeping an eye on the time as well. Because I have to head back to um, Romani Ranch at around 2 a.m. to do that one task I'm supposed to do, in, which is not going to be fun, believe me. It is really, really tough. Um, shoot. I really cannot remember how to get through all this. Maybe I was supposed to push that block forward. Yeah, I was supposed to push it. Not, um, put it, what's it called? Yeah, that's better. That way I can get in here. And yeah, since I pulled that one out on the other side, I can finally get through. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead and ride this jet up. That's really awesome. Um, can I please get up instead of swim back down? Yeah, these spikes right here. And yeah, watch out for that. That's actually going to push me back out to the start. And I'd have to do a lot of this all over again. And I really do not want to do that. But yeah, keep in mind, that one was on the top. Uh, near the surface of the water. There should be a one coming up that, that's on the bottom. And I had to stay um, above it. And not um, below the water on that level. Here's a chest right here. I wonder if it has more money. Uh, trying to open the chest, not get back up to the surface. Yep, it is another 20 rupees. Well. Oh yeah, a piece of heart in there. That will be r really handy. I think I already have two pieces of heart already. I wonder if I can get those um, last two pieces of heart. Give myself another heart container before I get into the next temple. These are not really required to break down, but I just want to get them out of the way. There should be something over here, too. Yeah, the switch. Let me see. What does this switch do again? Oh, yeah, it opens that up. Well, good thing I'm wearing this bunny hood, because it's probably going to close back up really fast. Oh, yeah. And <laughs> I just got in in time. That's the third piece. Camera really have to be that close in on me. Jeez. Yep. They should actually give me a much shorter time to get out. <laughs> Alright. Next scene should be to hit that one switch right there. And yeah, here's the other scene about um, controlling the Zora. Treat these things as boomerangs. If I can aim right. Yep. It's gonna open up that gate. Gotta wait for them to come back though, which is kind of a pain. But pretty much got no other choice. And oh yeah, here's where I gotta be really careful. Yeah, I gotta stay above that. Otherwise I'm gonna be sent back out to the start. <laughs> Alright, up this winding ladder. <laughs> well, it's not really winding, I just kinda wanted to say it as that, because there's lots of tales you hear when and they have the words winding steps you go. Something like that. Alright, can I um do this quickly enough. Alright. Oh yeah, that, that gate was going to close really fast. There might be something up here too, yeah. Oh, shoot, it's going back down. Can I get up here? Yes! Man, that was close. I'm trying to get myself through this door. <laughs> Don't know why that had to be tough. Well, here I am over here. Way above these pirates. <laughs> I could say suck it to them. <laughs> and now it's time to head on over to this particular section. 
which is the the trickiest of all. <laughs> Got pirates <laughs> everywhere. Now there is a really easy way to do this, but um, I don't have the particular mask for it, so I'm gonna have to do it the hard way. So hopefully this doesn't take too many tries to navigate. The one thing to do is just to shoot these down, shoot these ladies down. But you gotta be quick, because they will respawn. Um, I better um, put this on just to hurry. Uh, yeah, gotta hurry before that one wakes up. <laughs> Alright, um, there, there's definitely one on this bridge. Or at least close to this bridge. Yeah. It should be coming right there, yeah. Alright. Now I gotta hurry before it wakes up. Yeah. And into here I go. Now this next um, cutscene you're about to see is one of my all-time favorites. And um, I'm going to say this for the record. I am going to try something um, in editing that's going to be a first <laughs> for my channel. If it... If I was able to pull it off, I will put an annotation for it. If, I w if I'm not able to, then you're seeing the annotation for it right now. <laughs> so, just giving you a heads up on that. So, here we go <laughs> for that one particular scene. Comes a bee first. <laughs> Alright, here comes the scene I'm about to try. I've been waiting for you. And did you find the rest of the eggs? No, but that's that's because... What are you trying to pull here? If people hear the great pirates have lost the treasure they stole, we'll become the laughing stock. Yes, but, but, Avail, the sea is strangely murky where we were attacked by the sea snakes. Silence. That's why the Zoras can't send for any help. Now that the eggs are gone, the Zoras should be frantically searching for them. If we don't hurry, the Zoras will get to them before we do. There are four eggs here now. Hurry, go find the other three eggs before those sea snakes eat them. Understood. Wait. The Zora eggs are the only clue we have about that dragon cloud floating over the bay. If what that strange masked one says is true. <laughs> and if we can get our hands on the treasure that lies sleeping in the temple in that dragon cloud, then we could spend the rest of our lives living the good life. So get a move on and go find them now. Understood. Well, whether or not I was able to pull off that one thing in editing, I... Still enjoyed saying all that stuff, it's really fun. And then to see it end like this is even more hilarious. <laughs> so yeah, those pirates are cleared out. <laughs> and I can access that treasure chest. Yeah, I definitely could use some more arrows here. Now I'm kind of scared when I open this door, there might be a guard. Um where I'm at. I'm really hoping not, because that would totally be unfair. Um, doesn't look like it. But this would be the place to enter. Whoops. Yep. This is where um, you'd have to go. <laughs> Let me see if I could find where that um, one thing was. Yeah, right there. <laughs> it's like I was really spying on them like that. But here's the ultimate chest. It's gonna have a very key item. And it deals with that one thing I showed off. You found the hookshot. And even though it's called the hookshot, it still has the capabilities of the long shot in Ocarina of Time. <laughs> they just wanted to call it the hookshot. So it's essentially the long shot. It just, um, it's just called the hookshot. It doesn't have any upgrades later on. But the reason why I'm coming up here is because if I equip this and equip this, I've got myself 
a task to get that in there. Hopefully this doesn't take too long because um, it's not that easy to get when you have... I'm trying to target on this, uh, not the egg. Well, I guess I will get the egg right now, but yeah. Usually I want to kill off that enemy just to... Um... Yeah, you better have someone examine it quick, yeah. <laughs> That's something I will be doing later on. But the first thing I gotta do is just um, <laughs> grab uh, what I can. There's only four eggs to collect over here, seven altogether. But I'm only gonna grab just two since I have two empty bottles. I know I should be having more empty bottles uh, than this right now, but that's all I can really do for right now. Okay, um, the next place to go should be over there or over there. Let's just go right here. Let me make sure that there's no guard down there, though. Um, doesn't look like it. Nah, I should be okay. Oh, jeez. <laughs> and they have a little puddle of water right here. That's kind of funny. But, go ahead and... Uh, shoot. Had to overshot that. <laughs> that was kind of stupid. And up here. That should be fine. But here comes another line of stealthing, which is not going to be fun. Um, shoot this guard down. Oh, just barely got her. And... Um, I don't think I'm going to need the ocarina for a while. Yeah. Put that there. And go on in here. And before I do, let me put this on. Because we got something really big coming up. Halt! <laughs> Takes courage to come thieving in the pirate's fortress. <laughs> Gonna love doing this to you. This is essentially equivalent to the, uh, um... Freeing those, um, workers from the Gerudo's fortress. If you get, um... Attacked by that one particular lethal attack, you're gonna get sent back out of the fortress, which is not gonna be fun. That's why I get really nervous doing these battles. So I just gotta hope she doesn't do that one lethal attack on me. Really, really hoping not. I think the sword is much more powerful than this, but I'd rather stun her just to, um. Uh, yeah, you gotta wait for one of the flippers to come back, which is really stupid. But it's the only way to get um, an attack on her is to have both of them in your hands. It's kind of stupid, though. Man, this one's taking quite a while. At least she hasn't done that lethal attack yet. Yeah, if she does that um, kind of one ducking move... Ooh, I better not lose some hearts. Oh, shoot. Ooh, just got a hit on her. How many more hits does she need? My goodness. Alright, she's done. Don't think it ends here. There will be one more to fight later on. Or, no, two more to fight. My bad. And yeah, oh my god, look at those fish. They look really, really creepy. But yeah, go ahead and grab that egg in there. But before I can grab that egg, I gotta kill off these um, fish by... Um, Jumping on in and killing them like that. <laughs> yeah, by holding R. And like, man, where did th that big of a fish come from? My gosh. And I got that egg. That works. And what's in this chest? Is it 20 rupees again? Yep. Don't know why I'm getting 20 rupees every time, but I'll take it. Well, but I now need to um, leave this place because I only have two eggs. I'm going to go ahead and um, get caught just to get out of here much faster. Hey, you. Halt! <laughs> Hands up. <laughs> and yeah, you get tossed out right there. And I think I may just get intentionally tossed out by the guards. Yeah. This will get me out of here like that. <laughs> Which is fine anyway. And where am I at? It's down here, right? No. No, this is a lot different. But I don't think it's too bad anyway. 
Well, now I can go on over to this one particular place I need to go and drop off these eggs. And yeah, you got a like like right there. And um, one underneath that particular building right there. So this is not that pleasant. But yeah, like I said, these like likes are really avoidable. And um, and yeah, here's an owl statue to activate. That was actually something I should have done before going into that fortress. But I guess I had, I just forgot about it. And yeah, I gotta hurry up with this one thing because I, because I'm really worried about nighttime. Marine research lab, yeah. <laughs> The thing to do with these eggs is to drop them in here. And you'll pretty much want to drop them like in the center of these. And how they can squeeze through those bars is beyond me. Alright, next egg. But after I drop off these two eggs, here is actually where I'm going to get a third empty bottle. And that will be useful for when I try to get the eggs where those sea, those three eggs where the sea snakes are at the same time, instead of having to go back for one. All right. All right. Yeah. So I got an hour and a half before dusk. Now beyond here may not look like something very big over here, but when it comes to nighttime, it's it's much more scarier. Yeah, this beach may not look like much, especially with when you only have those enemies. But at nighttime, you get like likes on this beach. And they are, I'm not even kidding you all, gigantic. That's why I just want to get this out of the way before it's um, dawn. <laughs> or before it's dusk. And if I um, successfully accomplish this before I, uh, before it gets um, to be dusk then I will be, um, fine. And I had to wait till I got the long shot anyway to do this next scene anyway. And I'm still calling it the long shot. Why am I calling it that? I should only call it the hook shot. Um, I'm supposed to hook onto some tree here. There should be one much closer to over here. Um, I guess I have to do it way over there. But that's not bad. And it's five o'clock, oh. And yeah, this new gilded sword really comes in handy. Oops. Uh, oh, come on. This con GameCube control stick is really s <laughs> that quick on me. Uh, all right, where's the next tree at? Uh, well, here's a treasure chest up here. Wonder if it has something really decent. Uh, if I can get around it. And guess I had to do that. <laughs> nope, it still has 20 rupees. Alright. Where's the next um, tree at to hook, out, hook at? Why am I not finding one? Oh, okay. Uh, but it, it looks like it won't reach, which is kind of dumb. Oh, dang it. Where do I go now? Um, can I go down here and... Um, I gotta hurry before it's six o'clock because those like likes will appear. Um. Otherwise, maybe I'll just wait till um after after dawn and get them later. Geez, I really how can I forget how to get to where I'm supposed to be at? I really don't understand this. Ugh. Oh, right there. Yeah, that should that should help. Then get out of my way. And yeah, here's another good reason to have the time slowed down. Okay, up here should be fine. All right. Next up is right here. Yeah, this is the tree I sh should have started with. At least for the first one. Or am I not close enough to that one now? There we go. 
And I don't know why I can't cross around it. <laughs> Alright, what's in here? 20 rupees again. <laughs> Alright, um, nothing there. Up here then. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna wait till it's 6 o'clock now. Night of the first day, yeah. So yeah, if you look down there, uh, not down there, um, right over here. Uh, nope. There should be one, a like, like down here. There really should be. And uh, I guess those branches are blocking the view of it. But I know that that there's quite a few on the beach. That's why I get so nervous about doing this one. <laughs> Oh yeah, there's a better view. Yep. Uh, it glitched out. <laughs> there it is, yeah. Look at that. <laughs> That's something I really dread every time I play this game. <laughs> the like-likes. <laughs> but, this is why I'm going in here. The Waterfall Rapids. <laughs> but what's in here is um, something really, really valuable. <laughs> Need to get this on. <laughs> and need to talk over to this beaver who appears to know how to swim. Um, why can't I talk to him? I should be able to talk to him. I don't know why I can't. But I don't want to go that way. Because I need to talk to him. I don't know why I can't. Is there something down here? No. <laughs> I forgot how to initiate a conversation with him. Okay, there we go. That's what I wanted to do. <laughs> I just had to L-target him. But now I have to dive under to talk to him. <laughs> Which is even more stupid. <laughs> I don't know why I can't talk to him on the surface. You again, you can't fool me with your green clothes. You want an empty bottle, don't you? Yep. I'll give you one, but only if you can swim through all the rings in the river in under two minutes. So do you want to try? Oh, yes. Total of 20 rings. You must swim through them in the right order for it to count. Swim through the ring that's flashing. Show you the way, so follow me and don't get separated. So, yeah. Not a required minigame, but definitely, but highly recommended if you need some empty bottles. Especially for trying to collect all the Zora eggs. Alright, there's one. Yeah, the best thing to do is kind of slow down on some, um, hard, um, curves that are coming up. But yeah, this game is not that hard. But if the control stick cooperates with me very well, then I should be fine. Ooh. Oh, shoot. I should be okay. Uh, why am I going backwards? I should be... I should still be fine. As long as I get through 10 rings with in under a minute, then I'm fine. Okay. Alright, 10 rings to go, and I still have just over a minute. No, yeah, this is one that's probably going to require... There we go. Yeah, kind of a little leap. <laughs> Only six more to go. <laughs> we got this. <laughs> and yeah, it's already 7.15. I'm trying to keep an eye on the time. <laughs> for when I have to do, um... The task at Romani Ranch. <laughs> Alright, one ring left. And that'll do it. Uh, that was perfect. That's not good. What do you mean that's not good? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, an empty bottle. <laughs> empty bottles are a treasure. <laughs> Can't give you one just because you beat my little brother. <laughs> Can't just give you one. Give you one after you race one more against me. So will you try? Yes. 
Rule the same, but this time there are 25 wreaths. Don't fall behind, yeah. This one is a little bit trickier, but still not too bad. Alright, first screen right here. I had to keep the control stick tilted down, way down. And it's still a two minute time limit, so... Let's see if I can get down to under 12 rings with um, at least a minute to go. Not too bad so far. Got 19 to go. And yeah, it looks like the rings are not even flashing. It looks like they're more like spinning. Ooh. Yeah, I kind of stopped myself a little bit right there because I thought I was um, about to go wide of it. <laughs> well, at least that worked. Yeah, I had to get two in a row like that this time. That was the bigger challenge. Got eight left. Alright, yep. Okay, five, four, three. Oh shoot. Oh, dang it. I should be okay. Okay. I should be okay. Plenty of time. Yeah. Yeah, I just was aiming right at the ring's border. <laughs> he did it. <laughs> Nothing we can do. This is a mess, eh? <laughs> yep. Got a third empty bottle now. <laughs> we underestimated you. <laughs> oh, well. Alright. Don't need to go back to the waterfall rapids. <laughs> 